Hi, Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom here, and thank you so much for joining me for my beginner guitar course video lesson series here on YouTube. And today we're going to be talking about a new style of chord that's really fun, especially if you play electric guitar, like rock music, that sort of thing, which is called the power chord. So do me a favor, if this video helps you at all, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel, share the video, like the video, and uh, check out the playlist. The link for the playlist of this entire guitar course is available in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started. Now up to this point, we've been talking about a variety of different open chords, they're called, which are chords that utilize strings we're not pressing on. <laughs> nice and full sounding and we use them for lots of different songs but there are other styles of chords and one style I want to show you today is what's referred to as the power chord now we're not going to get really deep into this I'm just hoping that this is going to be fun and inspiring for you and then you can study it further if you choose to so basically what happens is up to this point we've been kind of sticking around the first three frets learning all of these open chords well today what we're going to do is we're going to start moving our way across the guitar this direction with a shape that is movable. It's a movable chord shape, where before, you know, D was just D, and C was just D, or C, excuse me, and E minor was just E minor. Well, now what we're going to do is we're gonna make this chord. Right, all those kinds of songs that we can play by moving this one shape around. So let me show you what this is. Okay, what we're going to do is put our first finger wherever we want on the sixth string. That's together, just go to the third fret of the sixth string. And then what we're going to do is take our ring finger, and we're going to go to the fifth fret, two frets higher, on the fifth string. And here's the catch. You only strum the top two strings that you're pressing on. So I'm deadening out all these other strings by just kind of laying my finger against them. I'm not pressing on them, I'm just laying against them. So when I strum, all you hear is this two string chord. Now this chord is movable wherever you want to go. So when you play music, you move it around. Now the difference here is, is that as opposed to the other strumming that we did over open chords, this kind of strumming needs to be very small. So you're no longer strumming these big strums with your elbow, you're more using your wrist for the most part, so your strums are small because you don't want to hit all those strings, you just want to hit two strings. So you're kind of securing yourself, protecting yourself by deadening out all these other str strings by kind of touching them, and then you're pressing here, and you're pressing here. And then this chord is movable and the shape stays the same no matter where you go. You see? So you can move these all over the place and they make lots of different songs that I'm sure you're familiar with. Now let me show you a couple of additions to this. This is the power chord, but we can, if you choose, take your pinky and add it on underneath the third finger on the fourth string. So you have three, five, five, or four, six, six, or five, seven, seven. Now, this pinky isn't really doing anything huge. It's simply adding in the same note that your first finger is. So again, I don't want to get confusing here, but if I was at the third fret, this note is right here that I'm pressing on is G. The pinky that I'm pressing on right here on the fourth string is also G. So we call these two notes my Sharona, or we call them octaves, okay? So adding this pinky on doesn't really serve a huge purpose to your power chord, but some people like to play with three fingers as opposed to two. Some people like to play with two fingers. It doesn't matter, whatever works for you. And you could sometimes play with two fingers, sometimes play with three fingers, it's entirely up to you. But what I'm saying is it doesn't have a massive impact on the song. Okay, you just figure out what's most comfortable for you. Now remember, from a bouncing perspective, you gotta remember that you've got a space in between as you make these. So you wanna train your fingers, notice how my wrist is down. You wanna train your fingers to make this shape so I can move it wherever I want so my fingers don't like do this stuff. When I move, I wanna maintain that space wherever I go. 
if I add my pinky, that's just fine. I can just kind of squeeze these two fingers together and move all three of them wherever it is I need to go. So it's a really fun chord to explore, to learn how to play a lot of songs with. The other cool thing is you can take this chord and you can move it down toward the floor one string. Again, whether you're using two fingers or three fingers. Now I would not play the sixth string. I would just play the fifth and fourth or fifth, fourth, and third. And I can play them on the fifth string as well. And what's super cool about that is once you get comfortable with playing them on the sixth string, and then playing them on the fifth string is you can combine them all together and do all kinds of really cool stuff. You know, let's say I did. You know, there's lots of songs, I mean, literally hundreds again, if not thousands of songs that you could play using this new style of chord. It doesn't take the place of open chords. It's a different kind of chord and it's used for different kinds of things. Sometimes you can combine open chords and power chords together. I just want to introduce you to something new that might be very exciting for you. Some of my students really don't have a lot of use for uh, power chords, depending on the kind of music that they listen to. Some people, it's exactly what they need because it's the kind of music that they like to listen to. So hopefully that helps open your eyes to something new that you can explore as well. Please do me a huge favor, subscribe to the channel, um, share the video, share the playlist. The link is in the description below. And uh, let's let people know about these videos and hopefully that will help them. And just to let you know too, there's also a link in the description for some additional training, uh, a guitar course that I've got for free for you if you're interested. So take care, stay positive, and I will see you in the next video.